and welcome to this episode of Orion at Your Library. My name is Karen Knox. I'm the director of the Orion Township Public Library, and I'm here today with two folks that are new to the roundtable. I have Katie Perkey, our new Youth Services Librarian, and Dan Major, our Adult Services Librarian. So we're here today to talk to you about everything wonderful that's happening at the library in July and August. And oh my goodness, there's a lot to talk about. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started with um, our fan, our favorite. Um, a person from Michigan Works is coming ag again to help people out, right Dan? Yes, on the second Monday of the month, um, Michigan Works will be in the library in the morning to help with uh, job interview skills, resumes, um, and job searching. That's wonderful. This is a good time of year to be updating all that information as well. Absolutely. So if you need help with that, come to the library and check, check that out. Michigan Works will be there. And then um, I'm so excited that we are going to have a teddy bears picnic in our youth department, right Katie? Yes, we are. It'll be Monday, July 8th at 11 a.m. for ages 2 to 5. Feel free to bring your favorite teddy bear, a blanket, come hang out with us for some stories, songs, and crafts. And there will be lemonade and snacks provided. Fantastic. That's always fun. And I guess if they don't have a teddy bear, they could bring their favorite stuffed animal. Any stuffed animal. animal. Yes. Awesome. Fantastic. And then we are continuing our community conversation partnership as well, and we have that coming up in July too, right? Yes, and the topic will be covered by the Oakland County Sheriff's Department, and it's uh, safety in the digital world. So they're oh. going to be covering um, things like online shopping and best practices and you know, not releasing personal information and all those basic um, okay. kind of things. That's really helpful. That's really good stuff, and especially when you get those cold calls at home. Do you guys get those mm -hmm. calls Absolutely. and you know, people trying to <laughs> scam you out of something or other? So. Awesome. And then in, in, to continue with our theme of summer reading, which don't forget is a universe of stories, uh, we have some out of this world crafts happening, right Miss Katie? Yes, we do. On Tuesday, July 9th, uh, at 2 p.m., it's for K through 5, and we will be doing all sorts of alien crafts. Oh, very good. So, so yeah, so. come join us if you're into that. Uh, alien style. I just heard something recently about E.T. again. I think they had an Ooh. anniversary or something of the movie recently. I don't know. But yeah. Good aliens. There's much better aliens out now, too, but <laughs> E.T. is one of my favorites, I will say. And then, um, for those of us that like to spend a little time outdoors, we're going to be offering our yoga series again. Yes, so uh, we've done this for the past couple of years. Uh, we do outdoor yoga in the evenings, um, so it's a good time. We have some great space behind the library uh, to enjoy yoga and get some of that nice Lake Orion summer. Absolutely. So bring a bring a mat or a towel with you if you like. And if it does, if the weather doesn't cooperate, we will have it inside, I believe. Right. As and well. there is no registration required. You can just show up with your supplies. Fantastic. That's a good relaxation opportunity. And then this I'm really excited about. We are taking our stories at the park kind of on the road a little bit this summer. Tell us about Neighborhood of Stories. Sure. So this is a collaboration with Clarkston Independence District Library. Um, we will be visiting parks in both Clarkston and Lake Orion throughout the summer. It is aimed at the toddler and preschool level, uh, but everyone is encouraged to come, all family members. Um, admittance is free. You don't have to worry about paying to get into any parks and just come out and have fun at our story times. That's fantastic. And so that kicks off. Those are on Friday mornings. Friday mornings at 10 a.m. Okay. Uh, the last one, I believe, is August 2nd. Okay. Awesome. Very good. And um, and I do believe we actually might have book bike at those occasionally. Sometimes, Here or there. Yes. So. Okay, cool. Um, and then for those families that love to sit around and play games, we're having an opportunity for them too. Absolutely. This is going to be on a Saturday morning, July 13th at 10 a.m. Uh, family game day. So come on out. We'll have board games, card games for the whole family. Uh, it's just a relaxing day to come hang out at the library. That sounds fun. We'll have all sorts of games, but bring your own games if you have a favorite as absolutely, well. Absolutely. Yeah. So Teach us something. Absolutely. Sounds fun. Very good. And then um, we are going to have kind of like a midsummer magic show going on with our friend Baffling Bill. Yes. And I have not had the opportunity to see Baffling Bill yet, oh, but I've heard he is a crowd favorite. Absolutely. So he will be here on Monday, July 15th at 2 p.m. And all ages are encouraged to come enjoy his fun magic show. Cool. Yeah, that's always a good time. They have, they have fun there. Yeah. And then I hear that Mr. James has a special dance party planned. <laughs> he does. Mr. James will be doing a baby wearing dance party on July 16th at 10 a.m. And this is for ages 0 to 18 months. 
You are encouraged to bring your own baby carrier because you will be wearing that baby and dancing to some throwback 90s tunes. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be social mediating that up just a I'm little bit. I'm sure we will. And Mr. James will have a special baby to wear. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Always fun. Goodness gracious. And then um, kind of in theme with our trivia that we offer for uh, adults and teens throughout the year, we're doing a family trivia this summer. Yes, we are. And it is Disney family oh trivia. Uh, this is going to be a nighttime program, July 17th at 6.30 p.m. Um, all things Disney. So Marvel, Pixar, everything's oh included. Okay. This is a registration program. So you are encouraged to register as a team of six people or less. Um, and I understand there will be some food and drinks provided as well. Awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun to be able to share your D Disney trivia. I know. Yeah. Should be fun. I wonder how far back those questions are going to go. That's hmm. a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And then if you haven't heard, we have a cool new maker space that Dan has been instrumental in setting up for us. And you are going to have a little program on the Glowforge. Tell yes. us about what is a Glowforge. Um, so the Glowforge is a uh, laser cutter. Um, it's a relatively big machine um, that you can use to cut and engrave um, wood, acrylic, metal, all kinds of stuff. Cool. Um, so we're doing a basic introductory class. We're going to be doing uh, a woodworking program. Um, and we are scheduling monthly makerspace programs from here on out. So Great. this is just the first of, of many different makerspace programs that we're going to have. Great. And so when is the Glowforge intro class? Uh, that is on July 20th. Okay. Very good. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, and then we hope that we're going to have really good weather in July so that we can take our littlest ones out for a splash and play maybe outside. That's right. On Monday, July 22nd, 10 a.m., we are hoping to get outside and play in some water. We'll have the water table out. We'll have other water-based games, and this is for ages 0 to 3. Awesome. Very fun. Come and cool down with us for a little bit. Yeah. And then come back and make some crafts that remind us of camping. Yes. So all kinds of fun throwback crafts, such as making lanyards or friendship bracelets. Oh. Um, this will be on Tuesday, July 23rd at 2 p.m., grades 3 through 6. Okay. Cool. Very fun. Yeah. And then I'm really intrigued by this topic, Dan. We have a plant-based 101 class coming up. What's that about? Yes, so Veg Michigan is a group that's going to be coming to the library to do a presentation on including more fruits, vegetables, and plant-based products in your diet. Okay. Um, and they also are going to be offering samples, which Ooh. is uh, <laughs> always a big draw Absolutely. for library <laughs> events. Very so. cool. So when is that one again? That's going to be uh, in July. In July. OK. Yes. All right. Thank you. And then we have, um, goodness, I hope some of you were at our summer reading kickoff back in June where we had some inflatables, but we're going to have another big carnival with our inflatables, right, Katie? Yes, so Oakland County Parks will be bringing back the inflatables, and they will be in our backyard. Um, I've heard there's jousting, Ooh. perhaps. <laughs> uh, this will be on Thursday, July 25th at 2, and all ages are encouraged to come. And just a reminder with those inflatables, do they have to wear socks? You do have to wear socks That's to be allowed on the inflatables. All right. Yes. So bring your socks. Yes. And then I'm also excited because we're going to be showing a couple of retro space movies um, this summer again as yeah. well. What do we have going on for that? So these will be on Saturdays. There's one in July on the 27th at 10 a.m. and then um, August 24th at 2 p.m. Okay. So let's see, July is Muppets from Space. Ooh, fun. And then August is Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. Fantastic. So, and we will be popping some popcorn for Absolutely. that one too. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Popcorn and, and something to drink probably. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. Fantastic. And then again, continuing with our theme of space, um, we have our special guest coming to talk to us about the Apollo missions, right, Dan? Yes. Um, so a local community member, uh, Harlan Neuville, will be coming to uh, talk about um, the Apollo missions. Mm -hmm. And he's been really involved with the library and the community mm -hmm. in general mm -hmm. um, and promoting that type of um, engineering and NASA education. Fantastic. That'll be really in informational to everybody and from somebody who has kind of been there. So that'll mm -hmm. be really great. 
A couple more things still going on in July over with our youth department. I'm excited about this one too. Tell us about yes. Space Food. Yes, yeah, so Space Food, you will be able to try some freeze-dried food and taste test, see what you think. And then they will also have a pedal-powered blender My that goodness. they can try out to make some tasty drinks. Okay, see, because you don't think about how do, uh, how do astronauts eat, right? You can't keep food fresh in not. space. So, so this is how they do it. Pedal-powered, it's exciting. All so right. this will be Tuesday, July 30th at 2 p.m. for grades K through five. Awesome. And then finally in July, we're gonna have a little more water fun for everybody. Yes, and this one for the older kids too. Um, this will be Wednesday, July 31st at two. Hoping to get outside and do some more water fun. Um, splash around and hopefully cool off on those hot July days. Absolutely, yeah. awesome. That'll be a lot of fun. And we didn't forget about our teens. So if you haven't met Sabrina yet, you gotta come into the library and meet Sabrina. She's our new teen librarian and she's got lots to share uh, coming up next for our teens. Take it away, Sabrina. Thanks, Karen. Hi, everybody. My name is Sabrina. I'm the new teen librarian here at Orient Township Public Library. I'm very excited to be here, and I can't wait to meet all of my new teens. Today, I want to talk about a few things going on at the library. Of course, we're going to start with summer reading. With summer reading, we want you guys to read six books over the summer. You read two books, you come in, and you get a giant size candy bar. You read four books, you come in, and we're going to give you this cinch grip. You can pick out which one you want. It's kind of like a pop socket for your phone. You read six books and you come in and you get a free book. And we also enter you into our grand prize contest, which is a $100 Amazon gift card. And we have challenges. So our challenges are you download an ebook from the library, you download an audiobook from the library. All of those are extra $10 Amazon gift cards you can read. Read a genre you don't normally read. Let's say you love graphic novels and you wanna read historical fiction. That's another possibility to win a $10 Amazon gift card. Come join me for a teen program. There's another $10 Amazon gift card. And at the end of all of this, we're gonna have our summer reading lock-in party, which is Friday, August 2nd from 7 to 11.30. Come on in and join us. We are gonna have video games, Nerf Gun Wars, a Sunday bar, pizza, but any other ideas you have, please come share them with us because we want you guys to have fun. It's all about you. Outside of summer reading, I just want to mention we have our Geek Club and our Dungeons and Dragons. Every month, the first Tuesday is always Geek Club. It's from 7 to 8.30. Come join us. We love fresh faces. I always have candy on hand. We watch anime. We watch YouTube videos. We really just kind of do whatever you want. The same with Dungeons and Dragons. The first, the third Tuesday of every month. Um, it is from 6 to 8, and, or 7 to 8. And um, we love fresh faces. Please come join one of our Dungeons and Dragon groups. Um, on Saturday, July 27th, we have our Steven Universe birthday party. Um, it is from two to four. We're gonna make some crystal gem soaps. We are going to have some Steven Universe snacks and we are gonna have Steven Universe playing in the background, of course. And to finish off our summer, we're gonna talk about our favorite stories. We're gonna have a campfire on Monday, August 26th from 7.30 to 8.30. It's gonna be here at the library outside by the reading garden and we're going to have s'mores we all love s'mores please come join us and we are all going to talk about our favorite stories from the summer and if you have any questions about any of this please visit our website and all the information is there for you i hope you guys come in and visit me over the summer i can't wait to meet all my new teens back to you karen thanks sabrina we hope to see all of our teens out at the library events this year as well this summer and you know, I can't believe we're already talking about August, but um, August 3rd, we're gonna be wrapping up our summer reading party. So the summer reading program finale will be on August 3rd, which is a Saturday. And uh, Katie, what do we have going on there? We will be having a circus show with a group called Cirque Among Us. It's at 11 a.m. on Saturday, August 3rd. Um, this is also when we will be making the grand prize drawings for the summer reading prizes. So okay. make sure you show up and awesome. see if your name that's is exciting. drawn. Yeah, that's really exciting stuff. Yeah. So very cool. That'll be a fun show. And um, if the weather holds, we're going to have it outside this year, I think. So very that nice. should be nice. Yeah. 
Um, and then, uh, Dan, I'm excited to hear that you're taking over Cook the Book yes, for us. Yes, uh, Cook the Book is probably one of my favorite programs at the library. That's awesome. Um, this, uh, in June, we did uh, pizza. Okay. Um, so it w we had a good 12 or 13 different varieties, and that's why I really love Cook the Book, because um, there's just a huge variety of techniques and different foods to sample. If you haven't been there before, uh, I recommend coming. And the next meeting is on August 5th, and we will be uh, using the Magnolia Table by Joanna Gaines, uh, mm. who's famous for organizing and kind of um, home decorating, that kind of thing. Right. And the Magnolia Table um, has a really wide variety of interesting recipes in it, so we should have a, a good feast that night. Fantastic. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Absolutely. So if you love to cook, check that one out. And then um, we have a few more uh, space programs going on in our youth department as well with uh, Seeking the Moon. Yes, yeah, so Seeking the Moon, um, we're wrapping this program series up in August. This will be August 6th at 6.30. Um, we are working with, let's see, Oakland Astronomy Club will be coming out with a telescope. Um, we are studying the moon phases, mm -hmm. and this is geared towards K through five as well. Fantastic. So yeah, there were a couple of those in June, and we'll yeah. be finishing that up in August. Absolutely. So great time to come out and take a look at what the, what's going on with the moon. Yeah. And then we also have, now this is exciting, we have some technology-based programs coming up, and the next mm -hmm. one is Create Your Own Google Logo. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so th again, this is for the older kids, grades three through six. This will be August 7th at 2 p.m. Um, come on in, Miss Suzanne will show you how to create your own Google Logo, but uh, it is required that you have some basic computer skills before you show up. Okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. Cause yeah. You know, Google changes their logo every day, so I never knew how they did that. Get so. to play around with it. Yeah, that's cool. And then we have Michigan Meteorites. What's that one for, Dan? Yeah, that is also uh, in partnership with the Oakland Astronomy Club. Great. Um, so they'll be doing a presentation on different uh, celestial objects that have been found in Michigan. Wow. Cool. I didn't even realize we had any, so that's <laughs> wonderful. How fun is that? Awesome. And then I know our friends at Kinder Music are excited to come back again as well. So what day are they going to be here? They are going to be here on Thursday, August 8th. Um, there's many age groups that they service, so make sure that you check the online calendar to see when your child should come. Mm -hmm. um, they're here, let's see, 10, 1045, and 1130 a.m. that Thursday morning. Okay. Um, lots of music fun. Yeah, that's a, great, that's a great partnership that we have with them as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And then um, outdoor fun is probably just a chance to go outside and play. Yeah, Tell we'll have some that. sidewalk chucks, some outdoor Ooh. games. Cool. Um, that'll be Monday, August 12th at 11 a.m. Okay. Ages 2 to 5 is who it's geared that for. That one's for preschoolers. Okay, yeah. fantastic. And then another coding adventure. What is yeah. this one about? So if you're familiar with Gumball, oh. this will be a coding adventure with Gumball okay. on Wednesday, August 14th, 2 p.m., okay. grades 3 through 6. Okay. Learn some basic coding skills okay. with our friend Gumball. Okay, cool. That yeah. sounds interesting. And then uh, you were mentioning our Makerspace series of programs. So what's yes. the one happening in August? Uh, so on August 17th, uh, we will be having a fold and sew wallet uh, making session. Um, and this is a project that we selected from Creative Bug, which is oh. one of our new databases this year. Yeah. Um, it's owned by Joanne Fabrics, and it's a complete start to finish mm -hmm. series of instructions and tutorials, um, videos. So it kind of walks you through the whole project cool. um, to make a, a custom wallet. That sounds really cool. It's awesome. So that'll be in August as well, right? Yep, on the 17th. All right, 17th, fantastic. And then um, we just want to remind everybody that it's not too late to sign up for summer reading. You can sign up all summer long. And I think Beth and Ash, or no, I'm sorry, Kathleen and Ashley are going to tell us a little bit more about that coming up next. Take it away. Thanks, Karen. Hi, so I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Adult Summer Reading Program. Adults who sign up for summer reading and read five books get a coupon for a free coffee from A Bean to Go in downtown Lake Orion. We also have a monthly drawing for a $25 Amazon gift card in June, July, and August. And one entry gets you, and one book gets you one entry into that drawing. And then our grand prize for the Adult Reading Program is a $100 Visa gift card. And again, one book equals one entry. So the more you read, the higher your chances are, are to win. Ashley, what do we have going on for youth? 
For youth, we have two different programs for um, our youngest patrons, ages uh, infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. We have our Read to Me program where they're going to read with their parents and then earn prizes by reading books. For elementary age students, we have our Universe of Stories program where they're going to read minutes and earn prizes throughout the summer. Our program runs through August 3rd. It's already started, but you can come on in and sign up anytime before August 3rd. And this year we have a really cool program going on where we're going to read to the moon. So we want to get this rocket all the way to the moon, which is about 238,000 miles. So we're going to read that many minutes, 238,000 minutes to move our rocket all the way to the moon. So next up, we have Monica to tell you about some outreach services. Thanks, Ashley and Kathleen. So the outreach department brings the library outside its walls into the Lake Orion community and to people who otherwise would not be able to utilize our services. In outreach this month and all summer, look for our book bike in the community. We will be at area parks and events and all around town giving away donated books, library program information, and lots of library swag. You can even register for your library card if you check out the book bike. This spring we partnered with the Orient Arts Center to have local artists decorate our little libraries uh, for the whole community to enjoy and they look really amazing. Please check our website for all seven locations of the little libraries where you can donate books and take books and return them if you like. And uh, check for the locations and then vote for your favorite in our community choice contest. And we have some really wonderful volunteers who are keeping track of all those libraries and making sure that they are stocked with books for you to enjoy. At the Orient Center Library, which caters to senior citizens, the over 58 crowd can participate in the Senior Summer Reading Program. Participants will get a punch card and to record uh, books that they've read throughout the summer. And for every five books, they get a coupon for a free coffee at a Bean to Go, which is on West Flint Street in downtown Lake Orion. And continue to log books throughout the summer to be entered into the grand prize. And just to note that patrons are uh, only able to enter either the Senior Summer Reading Program or the Adult Senior uh, Program, the Adult Program, one, not both. The Orient Center Library is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 3. In other outreach happenings, we have our ongoing English Language Learners Program, which is a conversation program, Wednesdays at 10.30 throughout the year here at the main branch. And we also have many programs throughout the year uh, designed for special need adults, and seniors, and please see our library section of the Orion Living Magazine or check our website for more information on any of these programs. And as always, and if you also need some uh, home delivery services, you can call our outreach department and we can give you information about that program. Thanks. Now back to you, Karen. Thanks, Monica, for that information about our outreach offerings. There's so many things that we do outside of the building, so um, take, be sure to, to give us a call if you have any questions on that. Um, but just a few other wrap-up notes. Um, we hope everybody received their copy of Orion Living in the mail. That came out at the end of May for the summer. And our next issue is going to come out in the fall. So that'll be in mailboxes at the end of August for the September, October, November months. Um, it's a great collaborative project that we have with other entities here in the township to share what's going on for everything uh, here in Orion. So that's a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't heard, we also started something called Cloud Library which is a new collection of audiobooks and ebooks, right, Dan? Mm -hmm. And people can go on and get the Cloud Library app and then download There's books? Yeah, there's all kinds of audiobooks and ebooks available on Cloud Library. Um, it works very similarly to our other uh, databases with ebooks and audiobooks and everything. Um, if anybody needs any assistance with setting it up or checking out items, they can always come right to the adult reference desk and we can help them get set up with the new collection. Perfect. So it's just an additional collection. We know so many people are using our audiobooks and ebooks and that, that just keeps growing. So we wanted to have more titles available. Um, we do have a couple holidays coming up. So the 4th of July is in the middle of the week this year. So we're just going to be closed just on the 4th, but we'll be open before and after that. Um, we also will be closed over Labor Day from Saturday, August 31st through Monday, September 2nd. 
And our um, Sunday hours are, again, we're closed on Sundays during the summer, but starting on September 8th, we will be reopening on Sundays for the fall semester and the rest of the school year. So um, look forward to that. We will have more programming going on in September, October, November, December on Sundays. And then finally, um, I was made aware of an interesting week, so we're going to celebrate this at the library as well, and it's called National Disability Voter Registration Week. And that is the week of July 15th. Um, so if you happen to have a disability and have not been able to register to vote as a result, um, we can help you with that at the library that week in July. So we're actually partnering with the clerk's office. Um, Penny Schultz is gonna help us out and get people registered to vote. And even um, anybody who hasn't registered to vote is, is likely going to be able to do so that week. Yeah. So um, lots of things that you need to be able to, to share uh, your opinions on. So we wanna make sure we get that done. So, gosh, you know, so much going on in the summer at the Orion Library. We really hope to see everybody come out and visit us at the library whenever you have chance. And visit us online at orionlibrary.org or give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. We'll see you at the library this summer. Take care.